Oh, hi. There you go. See? Yeah. We, that was the first time we did the intro. Welcome, everyone. Oh. I'm back on the on the couch of doom. Is this doom. the Kyle Marshall channel? It is the Kyle Marshall channel. Um, it's a new oh, channel. Hi. I'm scared. Like. <laughs> what did you... Okay, it's one second. Who are you? Let's... So... I wrangled some people together here. They happened to uh, drop by the office. Before we jump into what I wanted to talk about here today, and this is not because I didn't have anything prepared for today's video, let's introduce each other. Who are you? That's Steve. My name is Steve, also known as Greeny13. What kind of videos do you make? I make uh, sketch comedy on, um, on my first channel. Second channel is behind the scenes slash fandom channel. Third channel uh, is uh, music. We. So have decided yeah. to form our own comedy duo called Comedy Poison. Hi there, I'm Matt Mort. Nice to meet you all. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Who are you again? So this is why I've asked you both to be in my video here today. So I stumbled across this article that was actually published back in June. That was published by Rolling Stone magazine. And I will put it out there that I kind of have my own issues with Rolling Stone specifically. But they were going over what they considered to be the top 100 songs of the new millennium so far. So that's like the last 18 years from year 2000 to the year 2018. Because that's, that's math. That's a lot of years, yep. But I threw it to you, being the hipper, younger people that you are, what your favorite song would be that came out in the last 18 years. So Steve, what's your favorite okay. song? Um, well, my, one of my favorites is... Um is a marathon by Saga. I, they've, been, they've been around for so long, but they released um, 2000s content. Are you in frame right now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay. So sorry, that was, that was released in like the year 2000? Uh, it was 2003 to be precise. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, that feels so much like a throwback to an 80s power ballad. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that I really want to now go and seek this out. I've never heard of them yeah. in my life, yeah. but I'm Canadian an old. Band too. What song would you pick as your favorite from the last 18 years? Um, it's very... First of all, okay. are you 18? I'm 22. Oh, okay. Well, barely then. It's very tough for me to pick uh, my favorite song because it's 18 years of music. Right. Um, I don't think you are in frame anymore. Get over a bit. Okay. There, there you go. go. There we go. Um, I wish we could get some people in here that knew how to make videos. For now, for the sake of it, uh -huh. it's been my favorite in the past. Sure. My favorite song, temporarily. <laughs> temporarily. <laughs> All right. Well, you only have a few minutes left here before my, my memory card runs out. So is, get to the okay. point. By MGMT on yeah. their album, Congratulations. The song is called uh, Siberian Breaks. Mm. And it's like a 12 minute song. Yeah, the 12 minute song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. I also like Excellent. Brockhampton, Unknown Mortal Orchestra. You're not, a, you're not on camera. Mind frame. <laughs> <laughs> my pick for my favorite song of the last 18 years, and this is hard to, it'll probably change every single day, but uh, is a band that I feel that skews to an older demographic. I am a big fan of Arcade Fire. Oh, Another kind oh, of thing. that's yes. a big yeah. That's yeah. one of my favorite bands. Okay, so uh, I just find older demographic. I only say that because <laughs> any any person, literally any person I talk to that's under twenty five, thinks that Arcade Fire is like not cool. Aww. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's well. Sad. And my favorite song of theirs is something that came out here a few years ago off of their Reflector album. We exist. We exist. Nice. That's right. Which also has a wicked video that you should go and check out if you haven't seen it's it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I actually got to see the Reflector tour when it came through Calgary, oh, which is really, really cool. Right. Anyways, so I think we did a pretty good job of a video that I kind of scrambled to Wait, put together. Wasn't this about the Rolling Stones? Are we supposed to guess what the number one? That's right. Who is oh. the sexiest Rolling Stone? Go. Mick Jagger's the only one. Okay, no. go. I've, I've Steven Tyler. Correct. So there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. The sexiest Rolling Stone, Steven Tyler. Okay, well, well, let's. I'll go through the top ten that they gave, uh, okay. just so we have it. And uh, wait, can you give us it out of order, and then we can guess what the number one is? Oh yeah, I just want to guess. That's yeah. too difficult. No, that's okay. I'm gonna I, I do that. So I'm gonna give you out of order the top ten, and you guess what you think the number ten is. So, uh. Rolling in the Deep by Adele, Last Night by The Strokes, Runaway from Kanye West, 
Royals by Lord, Hey Ya by Outcast, Maps by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, 99 Problems by JC, Grazy and Love by Beyonce, I'm slurring my words, Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes, or Paper Planes by MIA. Holy shit. Ooh. What do you think the number yes. one song as picked yes. by the editors of Rolling Stone is? Yes, what song immediately jumps to your mind, like, of that list that you like the most? Um, that I like the most? I really like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that's not number one. Okay. Um, like the Yeah, yeah, How about you? Any song that just jumps out immediately I from that list? Rolling in the Deep. Yeah, Rolling in the Deep is good. I personally really like Adele. Yeah. She's great. That My was... personal favorite of the list is uh, Last Night by The Strokes. That's a very... That was surprising. Very That's, specific yeah, band. Really, that was, it's yeah. a very specific yeah. band for me because I really got into them first year of university and it, yeah. it was really great. Okay. Is it Royals? It is not. Yeah, it's Beyonce. Uh, it is Beyonce. So yeah. Crazy oh, in Love by Beyonce crazy. is the number one song. Which I actually... Again, this is my issue with Rolling Stone. I don't think that's even the best Beyonce song. So mm-hmm. the fact that it's number one is a little bit off-putting to right. me. Let me know what you think the best song from the last 18 years is. Go check out Matt's channel. Go check out Steve's channel. Those should all be up in things up on the screen. Yep. Hopefully, yeah. if I can figure out how to do that. And hopefully, this will have gone up on time. Hopefully. All right. Check out Kyle's channel. Yeah. Get the hell out of my room. <laughs>